Nearly 10 o'clock tonight, more issues for United Airlines. A United flight that took off from San Francisco International Airport had to make an emergency landing this evening at LAX due to a reported hydraulics issue. Now, the flight was headed to Mexico City, and according to United, the plane had 105 passengers, five crew members on board. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. The FAA is now investigating. And tonight, a federal investigation underway, also looking into how a plane could slide off of the runway at George Bush International. Continental Airport. This United Airlines jet went off the taxiway and into the grass this morning. Luckily, no one injured in that case either. But this is not the first incident involving a United jet this week, of course. Tonight, KPRC 2's Gage Golding is investigating the turbulent week for United that ended with this rough landing. This United jet sliding off the runway is just the latest in a handful of incidents just this week. All of them involving United's Boeing fleet, putting even further scrutiny on the plane manufacturer that's already under a microscope. This week, starting with sparks after takeoff from Houston. And hey, ladies and gentlemen, we realize something. An engine on a United Airlines Boeing 737-900 heading to Fort Myers, Florida, catching fire mid-flight. The company telling me the cause is bubble wrap. It was debris in the airfield here at Bush Intercontinental Airport. Meanwhile, on Thursday, this shocking video. A wheel falling from a United Boeing 777 just moments after taking off in San Francisco. The last departure lost the wheel on departure, so we're going to have to shut the, the runway down. The tire destroying cars parked below. In that same day, the National Transportation Safety Board announcing another probe into Boeing. A United jet had stuck rudder pedals while landing at New Jersey's Newark Airport. All before Friday's incident here in Houston. At 2477, I see in the grass rolling the uh, trucks en route. A rainy morning landing at Houston's IAH airport, leading to this Boeing Max 8 skidding off the runway. Section anything that would indicate uh, something uh, is wrong back there. Uh, 2477, do you copy that? Uh, they, they requested you shut down the uh, engine on the left side. Aviation expert Pete Tribuco saying the focus has been on the pilot shortage, but the cockpit isn't the only place scraping by to find staff. There's also a widening gap between retiring AP mechanics and those that are entering the field. A United Airlines spokesperson saying they're working with federal agencies to find out the cause of these incidents, but none of them are connected. Meanwhile, the plane's builder, Boeing, saying they're ready to help United however they can. When I go on the plane, I expect to get here safe. That's why Reese Bryan says he'll be skipping over booking a flight on a Boeing, and he's ready to dig deep to do it. I'm going to pay the extra 50 bucks more because I refuse to go on the plane that's tearing apart in the air. Well, it might just be a preference at this point. It's still the safest mode of transportation. Reporting at Bush Intercontinental, Gage Golding, KPRC 2 News. All right, Gage, thank you. Some big